Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to allow users to edit their submitted Microsoft Forms. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, Microsoft Forms, SharePoint, Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting on more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so we're going to create a form and in that form, we're going to allow users to be able to edit their responses after it has already been submitted. Let's go ahead. I'm in Microsoft Forms right now. I don't have any forms, so let's go ahead and create one really quick. So we'll go ahead and do an IT request form. Okay, so in this form, we're just going to hit allow users to submit an IT request. So requested items, we'll just do like computer, keyboard, plus mouse, microphone, and headset. Let's make that required. Any additional information. And then when do you need this request by? Okay, so we have a simple form right here. Let's go ahead and add a quick style. All right, so when you have a completed form, we're going to go ahead and go to the triple dot on the right hand side settings. So Microsoft recently rolled out a new feature that allows users to edit their form after it has already been submitted so i will allow users in my company to respond accept responses and under this option right here allow respondents to save their responses there's a another option allow respondents to edit their responses you want to make sure this one is checked so that will go ahead and allow users to edit their response after it has already been submitted so let's go ahead and preview this so i have a new it request form request new it item so let's go ahead. When do I need this by? We'll go ahead uh, this weekend. Computer, mouse, keyboard, and headset. This is for a new hire. So when a user goes and fills out a form, they'll get prompted a message saying, important thing you can do next, save my response, edit. And this will keep a link where the user can go back into and edit their response. I'll go ahead and click on this. Okay, now since I am a user and I filled out a form, I can go ahead and navigate. There is a, a button over here that says filled out forms and we can go ahead and see that I submitted a form on 5.28 at 10 p.m. So this is the form I just submitted. We're gonna go ahead and click on this and I can review my response. So it is all the information that I previously submitted so if I do want to edit this response, I can click on edit response and say uh, the new hire date changed to two weeks later. So I can go ahead and change that and go ahead and resubmit this. So the response was submitted again. And let's go ahead and go back. So I can fill this out as my edit this as many times as I want to. If I don't want this form to appear anymore, let's say uh, the request was already completed. Uh, there's no more changes to be made. I can go ahead and remove this from my portal. If I go ahead and click on the triple dots and remove from my portal. So now I can no longer edit that. So this is a newly added feature. It was only added a few months ago. So there will likely be more videos about this when Power Automate has some actions for when a user edits their form. Uh, currently, I believe there's not an option to where you can track that. So we'll go ahead and add the video there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, and I will catch you in the next video.